Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz with your host, Gail Dixon. Tune in every Saturday, 9 a.m. for great shows about obtaining and maintaining health, business, and finance. Learn from the experts here at PIHradio.net. And now, broadcasting from the Partners in Health and Biz studio, here's Gail. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my show. Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz. And we are broadcasting live from our Columbia, Maryland studio. This is a wonderful day. We are so happy and blessed that you could join us. And if you are a first-time listener, welcome. We just really appreciate it. And, And we hope you stop by on a regular basis and join those thousands of listeners who've been listening since. 2011. Can you believe it? We've been broadcasting since 2011. So this show, yes, a very special show we have planned for you, How to Fight Aging, Facial Aging, Facial Aging with Exercise and Diet. So what we're going to do this morning, you can get pen and paper, and you can be prepared to write down uh, any questions that you may have. And you can call into the studio with your questions and comments. The number to Partners in Health and Biz this morning is 347-945-7433, 347-945-7433. Press 1 if you have a question or a comment, and you don't have to do anything if you just want to continue to listen to the show. So what we're going to do this morning is I'm going to give you a little background on exactly what facial exercise is, what it is, and also if you don't haven't heard of the term, you probably have heard of the term facial yoga, which is the same thing as facial exercise. So this morning, uh, we're just going to jump right into the show and hope you learn something because this is something that uh, affects women of all ages and men. Yes, <laughs> women of all ages, usually if you are Caucasian, you may start to notice wrinkles in your 20s, whereas most African Americans of a deeper, darker hue will probably not start to see those signs of wrinkling unless you're uh, a sun bather, you love the sun and you sit in the sun and you're or you're a beach lover so you hang out at the beach. Um you just don't protect your skin. Then it will start to wrinkle earlier. Uh most African Americans uh of a darker hue because you know we come in all different shades. Very, very light, um almost uh Caucasian looking too very dark to the darkest uh brown uh, almost a blue-black complexion. So they're all we come in all all shades, and depending on if you're of the darker hue, it uh, your your skin will tend to take a little longer to age before you will see that wrinkling and sagging. So let's just jump right into it. So really, it's a pity that our culture is so into the quick fix. You know, it's, we're into the quick fix. And this is evidenced by millions of cosmetic surgeries performed each year in the U.S. alone. However, it's actually a rare case when consistent application of basic natural therapies isn't sufficient to eliminate the need for these types of surgical interventions. So we have uh, people in, in there, and I was watching a show recently, a doctor show, and uh, they were recommending that women start Botox in their 20s. And I was, like, totally amazed, especially as an African-American that um, woman, that uh, they would even recommend Botox for anyone uh, as young as, as in their 20s. But they said that it prevents the aging. Of course, you know, this age that we are in where the vanity, 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 we have to look as young or we want to look as young uh, forever, but of course, aging is a natural process. No matter, we can do these exercises, and we can eat right, and we can exercise, and we need to drink plenty of water. All of those things, but 
the aging process will continue. And it is nice to be able to slow it down. We want to look as fresh and youthful as we feel. Hopefully we're feeling youthful in physically, not just from the outside, the appearance, but our bodies, our internal organs, our heart and our muscles and our liver and our all the different uh, parts of our body that actually help us to feel better or to be more vibrant, those things are working well, and we're not just trying to look look beautiful on the outside, but we want to feel and be beautiful on the inside. So uh, although you rarely, again, hear about exercising your face, there's a surprising amount of information about face, facial exercising or facial yoga, as many refer to it. It makes perfect sense, of course, and many testify to the power of exercising their facial muscles to keep their face toned and youthful. And if you are a certain age or if you have done some research, you may know or remember a uh, gentleman called Jack Lillane. Oh, my gosh. He used to be on TV years ago, and he and his wife, Elaine Lillane, she's still alive, and she's still exercising with her son. And uh, Jack Lillane, I think he passed about four years ago, four or five years ago. Uh, I believe he was in his 90s when he and when he passed, but he was a proponent of regular physical exercise for the body as well as facial exercises. <laughs> and Jack LaLanne, I remember my mom doing those exercises with Jack LaLanne uh, on a regular basis. So uh, anyway, I digress, but of course, someone with interest and discipline to perform a facial exercise program on a regular basis may also be more likely to be overall more mindful of leading a healthy, active lifestyle. So they kind of go together. If you can be consistent about doing physical exercise, walking 30 minutes every day, um, doing your stretches, and doing a different type of body exercising, lifting weights, then this is clearly the number one way to ensure uh, your aging as gracefully as humanly possible. So doing the physical exercises for your body and for your face. Now, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables may ward off wrinkles, but by boosting your skin's natural defenses against sun, sun damage, for example, and clearly drinking enough water is essential for healthy skin. Also, I heard uh, recently there was, um, if you listen to what some of the beautiful actresses in Hollywood do to stay so uh, to keep their skin beautiful. The one thing that they recommend, highly recommend, is drinking plenty of water. Water, which um, hydrates the skin and plumps the skin and helps the skin to stay supple and youthful look- looking. <clears throat> so if you're not, excuse me, if you're not drinking enough water every day, then you are doing your skin a disservice, causing uh, wrinkles, and causing your skin basically to dry out, which will cause uh, more wrinkles. Now, the other thing is I am a major fan of vegetable juicing and do it as often as possible. Making sure you're proper, properly hydrated will also aid in combating the wrinkles, as I said, simply because your skin, again, will be more plump and elastic. So there's plenty you can do to ward off the signs of time on your face without resorting to more invasive surgical procedures. Those um, face lifts where you have to undergo a knife and they pull and they tug and they stitch your face uh, into a, for most, most, in most instances, Unless you have a very highly skilled, qualified plastic surgeon, then you're not going to look like yourself. You, you, you may look a little younger, yes, but you may not look like yourself. So you don't, no one wants to have somebody walk right past them and not even know who they are <laughs> just because you had a facelift. So exercising your face is just like exercising your body. And so the idea behind facial yoga is the same as for exercising the rest of your body. 
in that facial muscles will naturally begin to lose elasticity and flexibility with age due to lack of use. So, and then, of course, there's the other thing of people frowning and some people are in pain. And this, after you frown and and wrinkle your face over time, those wrinkles will set in. Those wrinkles will start to set in, and you will notice that if you have certain facial expressions, uh, one side of your face will reflect those expressions. If somebody twists their mouth up on the corners when they're upset and they do this uh, you know, quite often, then they're going to have probably wrinkles in that, on that side of their face, and, and they're going to start to see sagging. So your face consists of more than 50, listen to this, 50 different muscles stretched like layer. They're elastic sheets on top of your cranium and facial tissues, just like elastic sheets on top of your cranium and facial tissues. These muscles can act singly and in combination, creating the many facets of facial expressions. And... There's a website, the Data Face website. It offers more information about how the muscles in your face work, including videos that show the facial expressions produced by various facial muscles. So this is something that you want to check out, data, D-A-T-A, face.com. And uh, also, but aside from allowing you to express emotion, Your facial muscles also play a key role in the contouring and shaping of your face. So, excuse me, so this is how facial exercises can help you maintain a more youthful look as you age by preventing drooping eyelids and a sagging neckline, for example. So by regularly exercising your various facial muscles, you can ensure that they remain firm which will support your skin and prevent sagging. Increasing blood flow and circulation through these muscles can also help counteract your wrinkles. So clearly, adopting a regular facial exercise routine is to be preferred over costly, at least for me, I don't know about you, my listeners, but it is to be preferred over costly, potentially dangerous plastic surgeries. It doesn't require any special equipment and although you can find various contraptions that claim to help, but in general, can you can easily perform face yoga, yoga using nothing more than your fingers to create light resistance. So, so as mentioned earlier, there are a number of face building programs on the market, and some of them contain similar exercise to shape, tone, and firm the various face um, of the various muscles of your face. Uh, Since it's far easier to follow visual instructions, I'm going to give you some uh, some of the websites, and then I'm going to discuss some of those facial exercises that you can do. So you can write this down. Here are three well-made videos that you can watch because I can tell you about the facial uh, yoga, facial exercises, but it's better to see how they're done, and hopefully... Maybe uh, next year we will be doing videos, uh, and you can actually, well, we'll actually be doing the show live um, as a video, and, and you can tune in and actually see the show. So under eye bags, double chin, and sagging jaws, these are some of the videos that you're going to see, and how to tone and lift your cheek area. Most recommendations call for repeating each exercise 10 times at least twice a week for noticeable results. So again, you want to repeat these exercises 10 times at least twice a week. I would probably do them four times a week, uh, space it out. uh, Okay, so the first one is called the Houdini uh, dot com Houdini dot com that's spelled H O W D I N I dot com video, and the author is Annalise Hagen H A G A N, author of the Yoga Face. So you can her video. 
She has a book called The Yoga Faith, which demonstrates exercises for minimizing eye wrinkles and lifting 